The Duchess of Cambridge's sister, Pippa Middleton, will marry banking tycoon James Matthews this weekend in uh, what's expected to be a truly lavish but very mm. private service in her local village in Berkshire. Nick Dixon is in the village of Bucklebury for us this morning, where excitement is building before the big day. Uh, preparations, Nick, as you know, have been top secret. Have you got any insight for us? <laughs> Well, do you know, inside information is the one thing that's quite hard to come around uh, here. There's some lovely people in Bucklebury and they're very happy to chat to you about Pippa and Kate and the Middletons generally, but they're only going to tell you so much because they're very protective of Pippa. But, you know, that said, there's been a lot of speculation and gossip this week about, you know, what's the dress going to look like, who's coming, who's not coming, which celebrities are coming along. Everyone was talking in the pub last night about Roger Federer uh, coming along. What's the dress going to look like as well? So everyone's really enjoying it, but you're only going to get so much information here in Bucklebury, that's for sure. But lovely people, they're very happy to talk about the wedding. This is really the, the sort of village square, to be honest. It is a pretty tiny place, but uh, lovely nonetheless. This is the local pub that you'll often see Pippa and the family popping into, the Blade Bone as well. Uh, the little coffee shop. I bumped into Pippa and uh, Carol actually here a few weeks ago when I was here. I'd, I'd been over at uh, St Mark's Church at Englefield where the ceremony is taking place just to have a little bit of a nosy. I wandered in, Pippa was there, Carol was there as well and within about 15 minutes Pippa came over to me for a little bit of a chat. Well I say chat, it was a bit of an interrogation to be honest. She wanted to know who I was, what I was up to, how long I was staying in Bucklebury for, uh, you know, where I worked as well. I, I was quite surprised but it does show you the kind of private person that she is and also the concern she has about uh, media coverage as well. I've heard as well this week that she's been calling up some of the hotels and the pubs in Bucklebury to find out which journalists have been staying here, which media outlets have been coming in as well. So it's obviously at the forefront of her mind. But to be honest, here in Bucklebury, everyone is really delighted for her and they can't wait for it all to happen.